Okay, and we are back again here. We've covered a lot of ground already. We've been talking TikTok content. We've been talking TikTok brand channels. We've been talking about TikTok influencer marketing. Now we're moving on more to talk about the ad platform. It's really exciting, developing really fast. Really happy to have Ilya here, who's got some really cool stuff to talk about around TikTok creatives. So please give him a big virtual welcome to the stage and uh, over to you, Ilya. Thank you very much, James. So my name is Ilya. I'm the head of sales in Europe at NativeX. Uh, today, my presentation will be about the integral part of a TikTok concerning creative solutions in order to help you scaling up your TikTok campaigns. The presentation will be divided into three parts. First part will be about us as a company, who am I and who is NativeX. Second part will be why TikTok? Why are we even here? I guess it's a, a good, a, a friendly reminder. And the last part will be concerning creative solutions that we are offering and why it's so important on TikTok. So about NativeX as a company, NativeX in terms of the reach, uh, today is reaching over 950 million daily devices. We are uh, covering over 200 countries and regions and have over 12 million daily effective users action driven. The company is public and is being traded in the Hong Kong exchange market. Full coverage of global top media is something that our company is offering. We are a strategic partner uh, both of Facebook, Google, Snapchat, as well as TikTok. On top of this, we are covering other platforms as well, including Pinterest, Twitter, Yahoo, Outbrain, MyTarget, and Line in Japan. So why TikTok? Why are we discussing uh, TikTok in general, obviously? Um, I guess the three main reasons concerning TikTok, concerning three parts. One is the personalize, uh, the personalization of the platform, which means an endless stream of customized videos available. Two is uh, making sure every moment counts and that the videos are bite-sized. Actually, they're very quite small on the platform. And the last one is the fact that the UI uh, of the platform is effortless, meaning you are able to use it intuitive and very easy. Today, TikTok is the most downloaded app in the world, again and again and again, every month, every quarter, every time it's been discussed, it's been ranked at the top. And as you can probably see, uh, basically it covers, it's available in over 150 countries, uh, in 75 languages, basically very, very global and very high reach. When we are comparing TikTok today to other platforms, we are looking at the time people are spending on it, which is above any other platform, including the competition. And uh, as opposed to competition that is basically going down, uh, in some of them, TikTok is going up it's significantly, it keeps growing. When we're looking at the user journey on TikTok, we're looking at several elements. First is concerning the homepage. The second part of the platform is concerning this discovery page, the video shooting, the notifications on the platform, and lastly, the profile itself that each user has on the platform, each creator, each user visiting it. Let's talk about our uh, creative solutions. Uh, in the company and what are we um, basically discussing? So NativeX is a performance agency who manages hundreds of campaigns for our clients. On the platforms, we are noticing a very interesting trend. One of the key elements beside optimization on the platform, bits, et cetera, et cetera, is the creative. Now, all the platforms has a very uh, uh, important creative elements, but we are seeing that on TikTok, because of the shortness of the video, among others, uh, traits of the platform, 
it becomes a very integral part to be able to support your campaign and results on ongoing creative. For us, we are seeing that the magic number lies between five to seven creative sets a week per campaign. Our company uh, basically covers uh, over 30 countries in terms of localization and translation, and over 200 partner studios that are supporting us on whatever uh, whatever creative we need and offer. It, cons it consists both out of European countries, Africa, Asia, North America, and Oceania. And um, NativeX is a performance-based company, basically are creating today a creative to support the results. It's for the advertiser and for the ROI they're, uh, they're looking for. So in our back of our mind, whatever creative we'll discuss and we'll see uh, in the later slides as well, it's always what makes the performance better. We're not creating creative just for the sake of creative and for us to be excited with our colleagues. The creative we are offering is actually ranging from, from several aspects or several types. One, we are offering influencer videos to, do, to our advertisers that would like to create them, that need uh, help in the production. We are able to offer interactive videos to the advertiser who is looking for it, whether it's gaming or not. We are able to create 3D videos. and Overall, we are also able to create virtual reality, air videos, as well as television uh, channel level videos. All of this, it all depends on the brief, what is the advertiser would like to do, and most importantly, what will move the needle for them, what will help the, the campaign. When we're checking at the uh, basically evaluation system behind the creative performance, we're looking on top five performance layers behind the solution we are offering. One is the, <coughs> sorry, is the visual impact. It's the creative expertise behind this. What's the level of creative we're offering? It's what the data-driven insight we're able to get from this creative. How are we able to leverage into better results? Results-oriented enters here as well. Basically, the purpose of the creative is help you to reach the goals of the campaign and not to stand by itself. And lastly, how is the user experiencing it? And sometimes this part going to lost. Basically, how are we supporting the user experience with our commercials? The flow is divided into several parts. First part considers and analyze what the, what actually are we trying to do? What's the purpose? Step two is strategize. How do we support the purpose with what we will do? Third part is actually the detailed plan. What are the scripts and narrative we'll be using based on the targets ahead of us? And four to six is basically the execution. Whoever is going live with the creative we created, whether it's A-B testing several creative at the same time to see which one's uh, working better, which one are delivering the results. And lastly, to see what is reaching the CTR and CVR we're looking for and create more of this. Basically, a lot of times duplicate the success again and again and again. We're offering several service tiers, uh, the basic ones, the plus and the premiums. Each one consists on the level of equipment we're using, on the scripts we're using, as well as the casting where we'll be using for the uh, ads. On the basic level, we're using amateur models. On the plus level, we're looking for professional models and actors. And the premium level is basically careful cast and professional actors. We can also see that the equipment is changing between the levels from the entry, entry level professional equipment in the basic package to mid-level equipment in the plus and commercial film level equipment similar to TV commercial in the premium packages. Here you are able to see several creative demos based on the 
packages we are able to offer. Here you are seeing the level primary, which is includes standard template design and editing, the product selection, and creative idea about the campaign concept. Julia, have they got sound on them, those, those ads? Yes. Um, we couldn't quite, I certainly couldn't hear it. I don't know, I think there was a volume, maybe go back to the last slide. Yeah, maybe, maybe that will uh, just check, yeah, all right. Okay, so on this premium, able to see also high level models, including internet celebrities, whether it's models, influencers, as well as celebrities overall, and as also advanced art planning equipment service that we are using and the creative scripting using for the um, creative generated. When we are going, we are able to go into primary level as well as losing, uh, using local models. It's especially uh, interesting when you are using local models from the country you are looking to target. So basically, uh, you are adjusting yourself to the market. Hi, hi, Ilya. We're not getting the sound for some reason, which is a shame. Um, I don't From know the last one or overall? Well, yeah, all of them. I don't know if it's um, some sort of setting on your your um, uh, computer, but um, I think we're definitely getting the, the gist of it, but it'd be good if we can work out the, the sound. Um, so this the sound is on the highest level, but you're, in you're hearing it. Are you? Sound works now. Oh, some, yes. people, some people are hearing it. Okay. All right. Um, Felix says he, he can hear it. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, unless I'm just trying to think if well, and you're hearing it yourself, are you? Yes. Okay. Except the last eBay in which I didn't have a sound as well, but the rest um, of them I heard. All right. Well, you know, we're getting the gist of it. All right. Great. Okay, so the last level is actually the level plus, which includes professional models that we are using for the ads, which includes intermediate art planning, equipment service, and actually the intermediate creative scripting service, which basically means customized creative script for your brands, including demonstrate the selling point, the product features, and basically making sure the commercial fits to your brief 100%.
Hi, Ilya. Yes. Uh, few people, let's just stop it a minute. Let's reshare the screen. Maybe see if there's an option for. Maybe it's not. You're not showing the sound. Um, so if maybe you close down your your screen share. Yeah. One second. Um, okay. So there may be an option when we. So let me check. I stop sharing. So let's try sharing it again and see if there's any option for sharing the sound or. Um, Let's see. Maybe it's the computer input. Um, sometimes, there's a little, sometimes there's a little button saying uh, share the sound. Um, um, what we can potentially do, we'll, we'll just add, we'll maybe share around the, the slide deck afterwards and then people will be able to play it. Maybe that's the, the best route. Um, I think yeah. it, I think it can work definitely. Yeah. All right, great. Okay, good. So basically, in this case, this is the last slide concerning the premier creative. It includes high-level models, advanced art planning, which means actually cinema quality, clothing, makeup, and everything that includes in it, and advanced creative scripting, whether the different selling points and features. It's basically the highest level of the advertisement. And the last one. I'm not hearing this as well. Are you able to hear this? Thank you very much. Um, okay, great. Thanks, Ilya. Uh, sorry a few sound issues. I don't know, maybe it's something to do with the, the PowerPoint, but I think we all got the idea, certainly of the video quality. Uh, hopefully, if if Yishen or, or people seeing that, seeing they got the idea of the sort of tiers of, of uh, content, and uh, maybe we'll be able to share the, the deck um either in the chat or, or afterwards when you guys follow up and i guess you'll be showing your contact details definitely so um any questions we can ask in the yeah someone's asking actually you're going to send them the can can you send around the slide deck so any questions you can ask now in the, the questions box if you've got any anything about creative so i have i have a question to to start off with so uh, you know a lot of these examples seem to be from uh, sort of the chinese market mm -hmm. you know, and in some ways i guess you know that's almost ahead of ahead of us here now with you know in, in certain areas you know TikTok was obviously formed there and they they've had this sort of short form video kind of thing going on for a while so what sort of learnings have you taken in terms of creatives from from Chinese market or Asian markets? And how do you think they apply to other other places, particularly Europe? So I think uh, creative wise, we're looking at the same principle because it's uh, same the, the different platforms. Actually, TikTok is divided into two inside China and outside China, inside China and doing, but uh, creative wise, we're looking on the same principle. It means to use a lot of creative in, uh, in quantity to decide what would you like to emphasize. Are you emphasizing your product? Are you emphasizing the feature? Are you emphasizing the narrative of the ad? And I think 
for us, one of the things that drive key performance is the clear call to action within the ad. Because you have a very short ad, it's very important that it will be clear what would you like the user to do in the end and not leave it at, at the cool video stage. Got it. And in terms of your different sort of tiers of production, you know, how, how does that sort of apply for a platform like TikTok where it's quite sort of homemade? You know, again, are you, are you seeing, are we seeing sort of push to higher quality creatives in, in Asian markets, for example? It depends what would you like to do. It depends on how many platforms are you looking to shoot this video. Uh, are we looking at TikTok standalone or are you planning to use it some other places? And also, what is the level you would like to achieve? In some cases, we have advertisers that are 100% uh, performance oriented, in which case they are saying basically, I don't need the highest level. I just need it to work. And we, on the other end, we have the advertisers that are more also branding, in which you have a clear branding guidelines and a clear level that you are trying to maintain while you're shooting the video. So these are the, usually the difference between the tiers is uh, based on the brief of what the advertiser would like to do. Great. And Andre has a question, which is, <clears throat> After doing the, the creative production, do you also uh, manage the actual campaign? Yes. Um, for us as a company, we are, first of all, a performance agency and an overall advertising agency. So most of the time when uh, someone is approaching us to shoot the, the ad, they are also um, it's a part of a procedure that includes also a budget. And we are shooting are able to shoot the ad and they can do it by themselves, self-serve, but most of the time we're getting the budget to manage it and the creative is just a part of it. Got it. And um, what sort of creatives would work if fans asking for something like a sports app? Um, sports app, uh, social features, basically multiple guys watching a game and more, more, someone is playing the sports actually so a lot of times we are able to use a model or a person who is uh, famous within this area and again a clear call to action in the end basically you watch the video now what what would you like the user to do got it and you know you you different different levels you have there what sort of budgets are you looking at each stage roughly we are able to shoot a commercial from three hundred dollars to uh, ten thousand or even hundred thousand. In the but from three hundred dollars, we are able to start the discussion of basically what would you like to do. Right, great. And um, what else was I going to ask you? Um, if anyone has any more questions, yeah. So uh, any sort of you know particular creative formats that are working well right now? Everything that relates to video, to rewarded videos, to interactive videos, um, to v a AR as well, works. Uh, we are seeing that works excellent. Um, usually, creatives that emphasize the features of the products with each, again, bits and bytes, uh, but this one works also very good. Great. Okay. So, and how can people find out more if they a few people asking for the PowerPoint? Uh, maybe Yichen's going to post in some uh, some contact details or something, and uh, I guess to, so they can follow up. Yeah, they can contact Yichen or they can contact me based on the details right. that you are able to give them, and I will be happy to offer the presentation okay. as well. Great. So maybe someone will pay something for that in the chat. Well, thanks for joining us and covering this off. Uh, Ilya, it was great and really interesting to see those examples, uh, especially from the Asian markets. I think it's really interesting. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you very much, James. Thank you for hosting me. Here we go. Great. And next up, we're going to be talking analytics. So we talk about creatives. Now we're going to be talking about how do you analyze the ads. And then we've got a, a big panel talking about uh, um, the TikTok ads platform. So see you there shortly.